<laughs> oh yeah, weight bully and this and that, but I, I really don't weigh that much. Uh, I'm gaining the same thing back that everybody else is. Uh, Tagir was just as big as I was, if not bigger. He was taller. Uh, I definitely don't think I'm throwing around these guys. Uh, it's all fair game. My next guest is finally back in action. October 7th, UFC Fight Night is Nate Manus back here on the program. Nate, how are you? Oh, man, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go. I'm excited to get back in there. Yeah, I was going to ask you, is this the right amount of time off in between fights, or are you hoping to get, get in there a little bit sooner? Yeah, I was actually supposed to fight um, Zalgus, however you say his last name, Zamagulov, right. something like that back in, uh, I think, March. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to return a little sooner. Uh, some things happened, but I'm definitely ready to go now. Absolutely. Uh, happy to not be fighting a Dagestani fighter. I know the last two may, uh, didn't go your way. Yeah, man, I still got a Brazilian. They're still tough guys, but, you know, I'll take what I can get at this point. <laughs> what did you learn the most from your last two fights? I mean, the, the fight with Umar, especially, that's not a loss that's really aged too badly. He went out there and finished his uh, last opponent, right? Yeah, man, the, the fight with Umar kind of is what it is, man. He's really talented. Um, you know, I went in there and gave it my best. Uh, the Tagir hurts a little bit more. I, I know I can beat him. I know I can perform better than I did. Um, things happen in the fight game. I got caught, and, and that is what it is. Um, what about the weight cut? I, I know you posted the photo on social media. There was a lot of you know critics out there about how the cut <laughs> went. I was just curious, like how the cut actually was for you. I know visually it's tough to tell, but but you know, sort of going into the last one, how did you feel in there? Man, I felt amazing. Um, I've had way worse cuts at 135. I, I think the older I get, the more disciplined I get. Um, it makes these cuts a lot easier. Uh, I know I look bad. Uh, the face sunk in. Uh, but that's just part of it. I, I felt great the next day, and uh, I'm back at 125, so I'm ready to go. Did, uh, did did you get a lot of backlash on social media? Again, every everybody on social media is a doctor and an expert, right? So, Oh, yeah, weight bully and this and that, but I, I really don't weigh that much. Uh, I'm gaining the same thing back that everybody else is. Uh, Tagir was just as big as I was, if not bigger. He was taller. Uh, I definitely don't think I'm throwing around these guys. Uh, it's all fair game. Yeah, well, and part, cutting weight is part of the sport. I've never liked the whole weight bully term because if you're cutting a lot of weight, you're actually depleting yourself anyways, right? Like it's you're, you're putting yourself at a, at a disadvantage in terms of the water and all that stuff too. So I never understood that. I mean, I'm sure that kind of annoys you as well, hearing that term. I, it does for me. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I'm just fitting in with the guys right now. Um, I, like I've said the last couple of years, you know, I've just gotten smaller, more disciplined with my meals, with my training. I'm hitting two-a-days. Uh, I'm not cutting any more than nobody else. They just see the frame, and I guess I look bigger than what I actually am. But, I mean, I can show the scale, and I'm probably closer to weight than uh, Matuas is right now. You know, I, I, yeah. I'm on point. Yeah, and let's talk about Matuas here. Another prospect, 10-1 record. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him here? I know he's one of Charles Oliveira's guys. Um, I'm sure he's really good on the ground. He's really aggressive. He walks forward. He throws big right hands. I, I feel like that fits right into my style. That's the kind of fight I want to be involved in. Uh, I hope we can get in there, throw some shots. I, I think he'll drop before I do. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Uh, what about camp? Uh, and anything different for this one? Who'd you, who have you mainly had a chance to work with that's helping you get ready for this fight? Uh, yeah, man, we, uh, I'm working at two different gyms, like always. Nice guy submission, tag him in May. Um, we've got guys coming up in November, so I'm right in camp with those guys. Uh, I brought in some wrestlers, uh, some D1 guys. A uh, guy just went up to Cleveland State. He's been coming down. He's a big guy, 185. So if I can keep him off of me, I feel pretty good at 125. Uh, but yeah, we're just working hard, man. Two a days, uh, heel sprints, running, you know, working the cardio, pace, uh, distance at 125. You know, I'm working on my range. Uh, we're just really trying to do, become a whole different fighter, man. I, I don't feel like I'm done in this game yet. Uh, I'm still working hard, still trying to get better. Yeah. And, and do you find it's easier because it sounds like it's like a custom camp to what you need. You know, sometimes when you go to those bigger gyms, you don't really get that. I, it seems like you prefer that. Yeah, man, I, I'll talk to some of those guys and um, I, I won't name any names, but some people have said that's the biggest mistake they've ever made, that they don't get that one on one time. Um, you're just constantly being the nail, getting beat up, getting injuries. Um, sometimes the iron on iron, it's just it's a little bit too much. Um, I get good training guys in. Uh, I perform well. I have my nights where I, I step it up and I perform with better guys but a lot of the times man i'm just working my own stuff uh, i'm working with my coaches getting better getting that one-on-one -on -one time and, and this is the way i prefer it and like it and it's worked out so far how's the cut going now do you start cutting weight like now even though we're a couple weeks out from the fight or when does that process start for you uh, i started dieting down uh eight weeks out and okay. I, that was still plenty of time i've actually had to maintain here the last two weeks 
so you know you got the people at the the UI or the uh, PI sending me my meals. Um, they're working with me, making sure I'm on point. Uh, I can make 125, I think, in four or five weeks, man. It's really not been too bad. Good, well, that's great. And what about your corner? Who's going to be in the cage with you that night? Yeah, I got my head coach Brad Cummings, tag him in May, um, assistant coach. David Overfield, he's from Nice Guy Submission. And then I'll have my uncle, Aaron Houston, who's always in there, my support system. How's this fight playing out on October 7th? What's your prediction? How do you see it going down? Uh, I'm always going for the knockout, but I, I could see this fight going uh, a lot of different ways. I think he's going to come out and he's going to throw, uh, but I, I think he's going to end up shooting like they all do. Um, if I can defend those takedowns, which I think I can, it could go to decision, but I'm definitely going to pick them apart. I'm going to land the shots. I'm going to win this fight. And uh, hopefully it'll be by knockout if it goes the way I want it to. Remind me again, how many more fights you have in your contract? Uh, I have two left. Okay, good. So this one's obviously big because if you win this and you get the one fight left, you get to renegotiate. So I'm sure, you know, again, a lot on the line here, like it is every fight, right? You know, it's all important. So yeah, the next fight's always the most important. Uh, I really want to go out there and finish this guy and show the company that I can still go on and put exciting fights, put people away. Um, even if they want me to fight out my contract, I feel confident in doing that. I uh, just want to get in there and get this W uh, October 7th. Is the plan right now, I guess you have to see how it goes, but uh, do you want to get one more fight in at the end of the year? Would that be ideal? Or are you one of those guys like, hey, I want to enjoy the holidays a bit and we could talk talk next year? If I can go in there and get him out in the first round, uh, come out relatively you know, undamaged or anything like that, I'm definitely open to a late December, middle December, something like that, where I can cut the weight back down. Yeah, for sure. I'm interested. And what do you think of the top of your division? We've got a new champion, Alexander Pantoja. He gets the win over Moreno. We don't really know when he's fighting or who he's fighting next. Uh, what would you like to see? Because obviously, I don't think Moreno's going to get a rematch or a trilogy or whatever it's called. Um, there's obviously Brandon Royval. There's Amir Albazi. Like, what do you, are you, you kind of keep tabs on the division? Uh, yeah, I th I'd like to see Brandon Royval take the, uh, take the next title shot. I think that'd be an interesting match. I'm sure Moreno will be back there soon after his next fight or two. Uh, but yeah. the division's wide open, man. Um, uh, Guys like Cody Durden, he's making his way up to the top. I'm still trying to look for that fight. Uh, obviously, I got to get some wins underneath me, and that's you know that's understandable. Uh, but yeah, man, the, the division's open. Uh, I think two or three more wins. I'm right there competing with those ranked guys again. Speaking of titles changing hands, I'm sure you saw Sean Strickland uh, defeat Israel Adesanya. What did you think of that performance? I haven't had a chance to watch it, man. Uh, I was in Tennessee with my family. I woke up in the middle of the night, checked my app. Sean Strickland with the win and domination. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for it to come off the pay-per-view on ESPN Plus so I can watch it. I'm definitely interested in it. It still blows my mind, honestly. <laughs> yeah, how surprising was it when you saw the result? Because I don't think many people gave Sean a chance. He was like a 4-1 to -one underdog. Yeah, not just winning, but the, the domination that everyone said. I think uh, most people had it 4-1, dropped him in the first round, really outclassed him in there. Uh, I'm really interested to watch it. I, I still can't really uh, play it in my head how that went. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm, I'm I'm excited about Sean. I'm excited about the division opening back up. A lot of good matchups. Yeah, it's going to be good. Um, and before we get out of here, what's downtime looking like during camp? I know obviously you're a family guy. You got a lot going on there. Um, what, what's uh, what's on the agenda right now? Uh, yeah, pretty much always have my nine month old. Uh, she's running me ragged. It's a whole another workout in itself. Uh, she's just like her mama for the good or for the bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much yeah. it. And just uh, family time. I actually took on a position as a youth pastor here in town. So oh, good uh, for you, man. That. that's awesome. Yeah. Working with the kids and uh, they're actually going to watch the fight October 7th. So yeah, pretty much just doing that stuff, man. Well, what brought you to that decision? Just, uh, you know, wanted to give back or what, what sort of led you to, uh, to going in, into that stuff, I, which I think is great by the way. Yeah. My, uh, my dad's been a pastor my whole life. So I, I've been around it, uh, quite a bit. Um, uh, the actual pastor of the church, he's a good buddy of mine. Uh, he told me about an opening. Uh, I felt like that was something that I could be good at and influence the kids. So I took the opportunity. Do you kind of see, not to get too political here, but do you kind of see the world changing maybe for the worse? I feel like religion is at an all-time low right now. We don't have a lot of you know structure out there. Do you, do you kind of feel like the, the need for something like what you're doing is even more greater now than maybe even you know, five, 10 years ago? Yeah, definitely. And I, I think with the platform that I've been given, you know, it's important to give something back. Um, Maybe I can reach some people that, you know, other people with different jobs wouldn't be able to do. So I'm trying to take that and use it. Yeah. And making time for interviews, Nate. Always appreciate it, man. We're looking forward to it. UFC Fight Night, October 7th. It is right around the corner. If there's anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, I'll give you the last word. Yeah, I've always got my list. Uh, being in construction, Baker Chiropractic, Max Custom Completions, Merle Painting, Team Lynn, Lux Motors, Fisher Total Maintenance, Strong Realty, Stonebridge Sports Insurance, Talkaholics, Wind Supply, 
Thor's Dumpster Rentals and Lux Detailing. I appreciate all you guys for supporting my camp. Uh, we're going to go get this win, man. I appreciate you.